In this short video, we're gonna show you how easy it is to create a QRL post quantum secure web wallet. Let's dive in. First thing you're gonna wanna do is type in wallet at the QRL.org. Once you get here, you're gonna be presented with this screen and it's really easy to create a wallet. You're just gonna fill out a few pieces of information. So the first piece of information you're gonna to wanna to fill out is a passphrase. And just try to think of this like a password, but it's often a little bit more long and secure. This helps protect your wallet and think of it as your personal key to access it. There's a little bit of nuance here in that the passphrase that you see here is for the wallet JSON file that will be created, but you'll be able to open your wallet in multiple ways, whether it's via the JSON wallet file that you're gonna get momentarily using the hex seed or the mnemonic phrase. Any of these will work just fine. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna create a passphrase password here for you to follow along as an example. It's really important to have a strong password, so we've just copied over a 24 character strong randomly generated password. Once we do that, nice and set, make sure to have that saved so you have that noted, what your passphrase is. That way if you don't lose it later on, real easy. Once you do that, you're presented with the next part here, which is tree height. Now, if this is your first time hearing tree height or OTS signatures, you might be thinking, what the heck is that? So let's just quickly cover it. Tree height, in short, this just determines the number of one-time use signatures that you can generate from this wallet. So a higher tree height takes a bit more time and space to generate it. So for most users, moderate tree height is just fine. So we're gonna go with the default here. Next one, hash function. This is just the cryptographic method that keeps your data secure. For those that have a preferred hashing algorithm, you can choose one here. And if you're unsure, the default is just fine. Once we do that, we're gonna hit create wallet. It's just gonna take a moment and it's gonna tell us, make sure we save this file right now. So this is just saying we must save the details or we could risk losing funds later. So let's hit yes, we understand. Now you're presented with a few really important pieces of information. So what you're presented with here is you're presented with QRL address, mnemonic phrase, and hex seed. So what you wanna do is alongside with opening it in a minute, you wanna make sure that you're saving it and you're storing it in a place that you can easily access later. Keep this in mind because if you just copy paste it and forget about it, it's gonna be really, you might think in the moment that it's easy to remember, but really make sure that you take up, take a moment at this time when you create this wallet to save this information accordingly. So we're just gonna go here, we're gonna hit copy and paste. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it. I'm gonna save each, each of these pieces just manually for this process. Once you do that, you can easily go here. You can hit open a wallet. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is, in order to open your wallet, as it said, you can either click you can open it with your wallet file. You can use the mnemonic phrase, Hexseed, or if you have a Ledger Nano. What we're gonna use is we're just gonna use the mnemonic phrase, and I'm just gonna copy and paste this mnemonic phrase over. Once we have that, we're able to unlock the wallet. Super easy. So in that two minutes, we were able to create a post-quantum secure QRL web wallet. At this point, then you're able to have an address, you can see what your balance is, you can see how many OTS keys, how many signatures you have remaining. You can make sure that doesn't get anywhere near zero. It will take a while to do that. And then you can send, receive, and do all sorts of things that you would normally do with a wallet. And it's really easy. That's the basics for creating a QRL web wallet.